the Monday weekly briefing. I'm meteorologist Nick Lucchetti here at the Raleigh office. And uh, this briefing will cover the period today, May 6th, through this Sunday, May 12th. So unfortunately, we're going to be stuck in a uh, this continuing pattern of hot and humid conditions for much of this week. Um, and with that, we'll have the chance for daily showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be uh, potentially severe Tuesday through Thursday, but I'll, I'll touch on that in a little bit more detail here in a, a couple slides. But overall, it does appear that we'll be stuck in this hot and humid pattern at least through Thursday into early Friday. Um, however, as we get into the Friday into the weekend time period, as you can see depicted on this lower left graphic here, um, we will have a cold front that's going to push through and um, uh, there's there's good agreement amongst the guidance that we should have a, an appreciable air mass change as we head into the weekend. So perhaps um, looking at a good chance for some drier and cooler weather. But before that, we do have a chance for showers and storms um, uh, today through uh, the Thursday into Friday uh, time period, which I'll touch on a little bit more here in a couple slides. Before I talk about the storm potential and any severe weather associated with those storms, I just want to highlight uh, the um, hot temperatures we're expecting uh, middle of this week. So this is uh, the panel on the left here is the max temperature forecast for Wednesday afternoon for our area, Central North Carolina. And then on the uh, right panel is the uh, max temperature forecast for Thursday afternoon. So you can see on particularly on Wednesday, we are expecting um, temperatures to rise up into the lower 90s, especially for those south and east of Raleigh. Um, and then may, maybe a little more dampened on Thursday, but we, we do expect some locations to continue to hit uh, that 90 threshold. And because we have this the high humidity in place um, the next several days, and, and you have a repeated days of high humidity and hot temperatures, um, there are potential um, you know heat concerns for those days. So you know our main main message here is if if you are working outdoors or have anyone um, you know spending extended time outdoors, to make sure to encourage them to take frequent breaks and uh, particularly, you know, shady areas and um, also to stay well hydrated. Um, so, yeah, hot temperatures middle of the week and, um, uh, you know, beyond that as we get into later in the week and then uh, this weekend, it should cool off, but uh, particularly Wednesday looks pretty hot. So now, sh now we're going to shift back to the uh, storm potential for this week and um, any potential severe weather. So I'll discuss that here in the next uh, couple slides. Uh, so this is the graphic we like to show from the storm, courtesy of the Storm Prediction Center. So this is the severe thunderstorm potential for the next eight days. So you can see that um, for today, which is this upper left panel, we're actually only outlined in what's called general thunder. So with that, we're not, they're not, we're not expecting, um, uh, you know, much in terms of any severe storms. Uh, the the severe parameters we typically look at to assess severe potential in storms is are, are not too uh, intense today, um, but we can't fully roll out maybe an isolated stronger storm developing later this afternoon and maybe causing some isolated wind damage. But overall, the uh, potential today looks pretty limited. However, as we progress into Tuesday into Wednesday, and then again on Thursday, um, you can see that in these uh, the next panels up here on the top, they have introduced uh, what we call marginal risk for severe weather on Tuesday and again on Wednesday for the entire area. Um, and uh, and then on Thursday, that's in their extended outlook period, so they don't necessarily put a marginal or slight, but they do outline uh, a 15% probability of severe weather, which is basically the same as a slight risk. Um, so they're already outlining potentially Thursday uh, where we could see um, maybe a little bit more intense severe weather potential and more widespread potential. Uh, but as far as Tuesday and Wednesday are concerned, um, I think the coverage will be a little bit less compared to recent days. However, again, those severe weather parameters we typically look at to assess severe we weather potential, um, they will start to increase um, Tuesday and Wednesday. And, and with that, any storms that do develop uh, you know, could create some locally damaging wind and hail um, in the afternoons and evening time frame, both Tuesday and Wednesday. And then again on Thursday, the parameters get a little more intense. Um, we're still a little bit out uh, to get into specific details, um, but again, we're, we're definitely monitoring Thursday for potential, potentially more intense severe weather day, and, and with that, perhaps some damaging wind, large hail, and even maybe a few isolated tornadoes could be possible. So make sure to uh, continue to 
monitor our uh, webpage, weather.gov slash raw, um, R-A-H, and uh, for updates as we progress through this week. And beyond that, on Friday through uh, next Monday, uh, there is no outline uh, for severe weather at this time. Or I should say outlook, not outline. Uh, while we are in a general thunder and not expecting much in terms of severe weather today, um, we are actually outlined in a marginal risk for excessive rainfall from the Weather Prediction Center. So that's this upper left panel for today. Um, so pretty much the entire area has been outlined um, where for um, potential for heavy rain and, and maybe some isolated flash flooding. We've had some instances of some, uh, you know, isolated flash flooding the last several days. So I think it's some inertia um, or momentum uh, from those couple of days. So uh, that's kind of more the risk today and, and less so severe weather. It's it's more, um, you know, there could be some isolated, uh, you know, flash flooding in pr primarily urban and poor drainage areas. Uh, but then on Tuesday and Wednesday, we're not outlooked at all. So um, looks like we pivot more to severe weather kind of day and um, on, on those days uh, for now. So as far as total rainfall we're expecting the next five days, you can see that for each of these days, they kind of painted low amounts. And um, that's that's pretty much to probably account for the scattered nature of these showers and storms. Um, but I can almost guarantee you that if a heavier storm or shower does develop, it'll you'll probably see higher amounts than a tenth of a quarter of an inch. They'll just be pretty isolated in nature. Um, so overall, you know, there's a swath of a tenth to maybe a half inch of rain each of these days. but um, Maybe a little, a little more dry on Tuesday, but uh, um, overall, though, there, there definitely will be likely pockets of heavier totals, um, but pretty isolated in nature. So just to summarize, because I know that was a lot, um, we'd like to show this experimental hazard, hazardous weather outlook graphic, um, which just highlights area-wide uh, the different hazards that we're expecting this week. So you can see it's kind of it's relatively lit up um, compared to uh, recent briefings. Um, so again, for today, um, with any thunderstorm, there's always a lightning threat. As you can see, the lightning um, row here is is lit up from today through Friday. Um, and then also we do have that excessive rainfall, the marginal outlook for most of our area uh, for maybe some isolated flash flooding in urban areas. As we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, um, you can see we are, they're highlighting that marginal risk for severe weather. Um, and with that, uh, we're mostly expecting perhaps some localized wind damage, hail potential with any isolated stronger storms. Again, the coverage doesn't look as good, but uh, the parameters for severe weather are a little more intense than recent days. So we'll definitely be uh, watching radar tomorrow and Wednesday, um, and we could be possibly throwing out some warnings these days. Uh, but they should be, again, pretty localized in nature. And also highlighting Wednesday and Thursday for the you know, hot temperatures and high humidities, like I discussed earlier on in this. And then um, as we get into Thursday, again, that's kind of beyond the Storm Prediction Center's, um, you know, main outlook period. They usually focus mostly on days one through three. They do do an outlook four through eight. But the, given that we are being highlighted four days in advance, that's definitely caught our attention. And, um, you know, we're going to be monitoring that uh, pretty intensely here the next couple of days. But it does look like, again, Thursday could be a little bit more potential for uh, a more widespread severe weather day. So before I do a final uh, summary of this entire briefing, I did want to highlight the 8 to 14 day outlooks courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center. We always like to show these graphics just to tell you, show you what's coming down the line um, potentially. So this, these graphics, you have the temperature graphic on the left and the precipitation outlook graphic on the right. And this is valid for the time period uh, May 13th through the 19th. So on the left panel here, it does look, look like there's at least somewhat of a signal for perhaps a little bit better chances for um, below normal temperatures in this period. Um, uh, looks like even further across the deep south with these darker blues, it's even better chances. So maybe a little bit near normal to a little bit below normal in this time period. And then if we look at the precip plot over here on the right, um, it looks like we're looking more like near normal to maybe slightly above normal. Um, but it looks like mostly, you know, near climatology. So. That is the outlook for uh, the next uh, eight to 14 days from now. 
So just a quick summary here, and then I can take any questions you guys might have. Um, so again, we're expecting hot and humid conditions for the rest of this week. And in fact, by midweek, uh, temperatures are gonna, particularly uh, south and east of Raleigh, gonna pick up into the lower 90s. Um, and with that hot and humid weather, we continue to highlight the chance for scattered showers and storms um, the, uh, at least through Thursday. And uh, as we get into Tuesday, Thursday period again, we could see some potentially severe weather. Um, and then that cold front should push through and we should we should see dry and cooler weather this uh, weekend. So as far as hazards and impacts, again, not expecting much in terms of severe weather potential today outside of an isolated damaging wind gust. Um, but we, uh, similar to the last several days, we could see, given how hot and humid it is, or given how humid it is, how much moisture is in the air, we could see isolated flash flooding, particularly in urban and poor drainage areas. That's for today. As we progress into Tuesday into Wednesday, um, again, we have that marginal risk for severe weather, so we could see any stronger storms that develop could produce locally damaging wind gusts and large large hail Tuesday and Wednesday. And then again, we're monitoring the potential for potentially uh, more intense possible severe weather day on Thursday. Um, and uh, lastly, again, uh, we could have some heat concerns this Wednesday and Thursday, given the repeated days of high humidity and hot temperatures. So with that, I would like to thank you all for listening to me and I am happy to take any questions that you might have.